from a high level, from my perspective, as I review your six property portfolio, I know you want to retire in the next five or seven years. You can use a significant amount of the passive income from your real estate portfolio to offset your W-2 income, whatever you Correct. can I know everybody's retirement goals are different. Some have a shorter term, some have a longer term retirement goal. You guys are able to scale your portfolio. You could easily go to Florida and buy a single family home, brand new construction for $350,000 and $2,500. No problem. You can get cash flow on that one property, new construction in Florida somewhere, which I promote also. You want to put the minimal down payment on a higher cash flow. Real estate portfolio, so you can achieve passive income retirement sooner. Some people they rather buy a three hundred fifty thousand dollar rental property, single family home, brand new for three fifty. They have to put a total down payment of eighty grand because they have a longer time horizon to retire twenty years, whatever. You right. have shorter time, and so you guys need more cash flow. You guys want to maximize the amount of down payment money you have instead of buying one rental property cost three hundred fifty thousand. You buying the equivalent five. Different property at seventy grand, seventy five thousand dollars, and cash flow. Exactly. Everybody's situation is different. You're doing the right thing for giving your goals. Now, as your real estate portfolio continues to grow, are you mm -hmm. going to buy more property for the short term, foreseeable future? Mm -hmm. uh, you guys keep on scaling. There are many different ways to retire using the real estate portfolio. I want to understand. What is your vision for your retirement in the next five to seven years, for example? Now, some people in your situation, they want to pay it off their mortgages. They can accelerate their loan, pay one extra principal per month to accelerate and pay it off the 30-year fixed rate mortgage into seven years. Right. And you can use all your cash flows from all your six properties or more to pay one extra principal payment and you'd be mortgage debt-free in about seven years. There's so many different ways right. to, mm -hmm. to, uh, to work your net real estate portfolio. Or you already have gained a pretty significant amount of equity, even in Buffalo mm -hmm. in the past mm -hmm. years, 10, 20, 30% of the yeah. Very lucky, but there's an additional bonus you did not anticipate. So you can very well in the next few years cash out, refinance some of the equity from your existing houses, leverage and buy more property. Absolutely. Another Exit strategies is to just live off the rental income and continue to appreciate with the equity. Do you have an exit strategy? I think it's like in my mind a combination right now because when we ended up paying off our credit card debt, we did the snowball effect. We paid the smallest one and then we continued to pay the largest one. So that's how I anticipate paying off the mortgages, take the smallest one, then, like you said, use the extra payment each month as an extra principal payment each month. They're not large loans. They're not very large loans at all. And again, once those are paid off, about 90% of what we're getting in rent will come to us. And so that's a way to help him retire. Our goal is to save as much of the rental income as we can and then use that money to go ahead and buy more properties. So it's a hybrid of what you're saying. Awesome. Awesome. Very good to hear. Mm -hmm.